Oh, by the way that you're on, everyone's going crazy. They're saying, let's go, <laughs> Yelly, Yelly. Hey, y'all in the chat, ask questions, and I'll, set, I'll ask Yelly. How you doing, bro? Uh, good, dude. I'm just hanging out, man. Same as you are, probably. Just trying to pass the boredom, but also try to, to stay ready if we got to turn this thing back up here soon, which hopefully we do. Yeah, hopefully we, got, hopefully we start here pretty soon. Um, yeah, man. They're asking, what's your uh, favorite song? What do you listen to before games? My favorite song, you know, I don't really have like a, I don't know if you do, but I don't really have like a, a set playlist. I'm not really walking around with the headphones on or anything. It's really whatever the guys are playing the clubhouse and uh, it's a different clubhouse DJ for us every day. Sometimes it's the same guy, but uh, I don't know. I'm sure you do a good job of it too, but you you should do a pretty good job of getting yourself ready to play or getting yourself in a mindset where you got to go turn it on and Hell that yeah. whole deal. Hey, you know, maybe right. there's a day or two where like you really locked in and you got your own like playlist going you on. Lose you yourself, really Eminem. Something. You're like, let's go. <laughs> hey, yeah. all right. Here, here's the next question: Start one, bench one, sit one, or cut one. I'm sorry. Start one, bench one, cut one. Harden, Curry, or Kyrie? Oh man. Harden, Harden, Curry, Kyrie. Yeah. That, those are the three. Yeah. Let's see. Uh Probably starting Curry, benching Kyrie, and I got to cut Harden, which is going to get me booed right off of this. this <laughs> out. Right now. Get out. <laughs> yeah. Get out. But, uh, I don't know, dude. You can't go wrong with any of those guys. You're saying that because you're that your boys are Giannis. Oh, man. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I've got no bias here. Come on. What's but the, Giannis is a beast, dude. We're keeping. We're, he's he's starting over everybody right now. Hell yeah! What's what's uh what's the biggest thing you learned? I'm by the way, I'm starting Harden. But what's the biggest thing you learned? Um, playing with uh, playing with Ichiro. Just uh, like a routine, man. Like this guy was so dialed in on his routine every day. Like it didn't matter if he was starting, if he wasn't playing. It was the it was to the point where I don't know if I ever talked about this, but it was like the point where he would take the exact same number of like flips in the cage every day. Like, bro, they told me he ate California Pizza Kitchen for lunch every day. Yeah, well, it'd be like a different. It would be like a different thing. Sometimes it was like CBK. I think it was like Shake Shack. I guess throughout his career, it was like different different places that he really liked. I don't want to blow his spot up too much because he's such a private guy, but. It was fascinating to watch, man. Just how like how routine oriented he was, how he could get himself to prepare. Great dude, like I really like being around him. Awesome teammate. Um, yeah. But it was so dialed in, dude. Like he he was so like in tune with his swing and what he wanted to accomplish. And like you have probably heard the stories about him, uh, like the home run derby. Like everybody say he could win a home run derby. I I fully believe that after watching it. Hell yeah! What's your favorite uh, ballpark to play in? Uh, I, it's always so hard for me to like, that's a common question that we, we get asked all the time. I'm sure you do too. And it's hard for me to pick. I, I like aspects of a lot of them. And it, it probably depends on like the time of year and bro, atmosphere. I like both of our parks, bro. Minute Maid and, um, Miller. They're both dope. Miller. Ball yeah, flies. Was it, was, was it, that was your first time playing in Miller last year, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a good place to hit and it's usually a pretty good atmosphere, good fans and, I think that's the only uh, place I could go deep to center. <laughs> I was like, holy cow, I thought I flew out. <laughs> well, did nah, you that's just a shave? Great place to hit. Why'd you shave? What's up? Everyone in the chat's asking, why'd you shave? They thought, oh, you were yeah, dude. It. So I was at, I was like chilling the other day and I got just took a shower and I like looked at myself in the mirror. And I was like, this, this has got, it. I just started hacking away at this thing, but there's still time for it to come back. It'll, it'll be back in like another week or two if I want it to be. But hell yeah. Yeah. I just, I just hacked it off one day. Hell yeah. What's, uh, What's the hardest pitcher you've ever had to face in the big leagues? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure there's some of them, but I don't really ever like giving anybody too much credit. That's, and that's what not somebody like a asked me earlier. Yeah, that's not a disrespect thing, but it's just like I, I have a hard time of like conceding to the fact that like I can't succeed against anybody on a given day. Like, yeah, I'm gonna get my ass handed to me all the time, and we all do in that game, but. There's nobody that I'm going to be like, oh, man, like this guy is really – he's getting me out today. There's some guys that you know, like you know in the back of your head, like, ah, oh, this guy's got my number. Yeah. But That's you're, never gonna, Severino, you're never going to admit Severino's it. Severino's got my number. But yeah. I'm not going to admit that just, just today. That's it. Hey, uh, what's it like having Barry Bonds as your hitting coach? 
I learned a lot from Barry and uh, I did that thing with Ploof and the, the John boy guys the other day about like kind of what I learned from them and took away from that whole experience. And I tried to build on it throughout my career. And as you know, that we're always constantly trying to get better, like just because you've had successful seasons in the big leagues doesn't necessarily mean that you're um, accepting of that. And that you're, you're cool with just staying at that level forever. We all want to get, uh, we all want to reach, like, I think we all want to get the most out of our careers. We all want to reach whatever, like, our peak potential is. So you're always in search of improving and getting better. And, like, that's what drives you on the day-to-day. And I learned so much from Barry. And him and Frank Menachino combined, I think, really helped me out a lot. Hell, yeah. I took things from both of those guys that I could kind of apply to my career and tweak in ever since. Hell, yeah. Hey, so since this is a charity stream, we're trying to get as much money donated for the food bank as possible. I was kind of going to put you on the spot and see if you wanted to uh, sign a bat that we could uh, raffle off to everybody who donates. If I can fire it off on that wall, then yeah, sure. I'm I'm in. (laughs) (laughs) All right, so you're in. Who who we got back there? So we got two of the the louisville slugger bats from the all-star game last year the fender guitars and we got some a lot of merch we got some uh we got some some bats from a bunch of guys across the league arenado we got jose abreu um we got some players weekend bats um you uh you down to sign one and send it off yeah just just send me a text after this of where to or to send it I, i can get it to you sounds good hey everybody in the chat if you guys donate right now, you guys will be entered into that raffle um, and we will pick a winner. All right, last question for you. Um, Sammy Sosa or Mark McGuire? Uh, I remember following McGuire a lot when I was a kid during that home run race. Uh, and that was before like you could go on the internet, so you'd have to wait and like check the newspaper in the morning, which I'm sure a lot of people on this thing have like no idea what that even means, but there was a time, kids, back in the day when you had to go wait till the newspaper came out in the morning to check on your sports news. You couldn't always go on Twitter or Instagram and oh, have some instant okay. validation or you would hopefully see it on the bottom line of uh, ESPN. But I, I would remember like they they each had like their headshot in the newspaper and then like a home run tally. Um, and I would check that every day. And I, I, I was always rooting for McGuire for whatever reason. But I, I mean, I enjoyed watching Sammy too. And, um, you know, that's probably even before your time. No, that was like, that was my favorite. What'd you say? Uh, gay guys sign. Remember Yelly's going <clears> to, <throat> excuse me. Yelly's going to be auction or giving us a signed bat to send off to people who donate. So thank y'all for donating. Yelly, thank you for joining us, bro. Well, uh, yeah, man, you pull on the, you, you're just staying up all night. Like you're doing a 24 hour we're going 24 hours. We got, uh, actually we got Boris Diaw about to join in, talk about Greg Popovich, talk about his career, talk about his wine business. Yeah. We're just rolling, man. We got, we got a bunch of people coming on, helping us out. So thank you. Thank you, bro. Nice dude. Well, really it's good work you're doing, man. Appreciate you for having me. And, um, thank obviously you, pulling for you guys to raise as much money as you can. Hell yeah, bro. We'll see you. Uh, we'll see you soon. Hopefully we got a season. I know, man. Text me the uh, text me that address wherever you want me to, to send that bad. And, Just send it. Uh, yeah, yeah if hope. you send it to us, we'll send it to them and we'll get it to them. Yeah, text me whatever address you want me to send it to, and then uh, yeah, dude. Hopefully, I see you down the road here for the season. Hell yeah, bro! You're the man. All right, man. Be good. Later, bro. Later.